Hey everyone, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Today I want to talk about planting your pepper seeds in your start trays to get prepared for spring. I know it's only the middle of December, but this year I'm going to start pretty much all of my seeds early. And I'm going to show you all exactly how I do this. So before we get into how to start your pepper seeds, or any kind of seeds for that matter, I want to give a very special shout out to a young man who has been brought to my attention as being really into gardening. Now anyone who's watched this channel for any amount of time knows just how much I love to get kiddos involved in gardening. And when I hear about a kiddo involved in gardening and loving gardening, and I have permission from the parents, I would definitely want to give a shout out to that young individual and to share it with everybody on here. Okay, so my ex-wife is a teacher and one of her students is actually a subscriber to this channel. His name is Logan, he's 11 years old. And as you can see here in these pictures of him holding up some of his plants, that smile, y'all, is just contagious. He loves to garden. So I thought it'd be great to give him a shout out and to let all the older folks on here like myself know that, hey, you know what? Our future of gardening are in good hands. There are youngsters out there that love to get their hands dirty, get dirt in their nails, and get out there and sweat and grow their own food. So Logan, this video is for you, bud. I know you like to grow peppers. So we are going to grow this pepper for you because you approved it. So Logan, I wanna to say to you, bud, keep it up from all of us older growers. I guarantee everyone watching this part of the video right here is smiling because we want to see youngsters like yourself getting out there and growing okay so growing peppers as you can see i've got i've got jalapeno peppers right here now again it is the middle of december and so these are all going to be going to winter really soon the weather's starting to get cold but if you want to have the success like i'm showing right here of growing your own peppers in the spring and summer now is the time to get your seed starts going Okay, so what do you need to start your seeds? Well, first off, you need a seed starter. Not a potting soil, you need a seed starter. You can use any kind of seed starter. It doesn't matter the company, but it's, it needs to say seed starting mix. It doesn't matter what brand you use or what company you use. As long as you feel comfortable with that company, then you're, got, you're good to go. The reason for a seed starting mix and not a potting soil or a growing soil is a seed starting mix is specifically designed to embrace that seed on all sides in like a warm loving hug around that seed. And why that is so important is because a seed doesn't need nutrition right off the bat. What it needs is a good medium to get it started in, water and heat and sun. That's what they need. They don't need the nutrients yet. So you want to start your seeds, again, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, with a seed starting mix. You also need your seed starting trays. Now I like this brand, it's a Burpees brand, but I love this bottom right here. You know, a lot of the other, a lot of the old seed trays, they're that thin plastic that when you push up the, the seed start, it breaks and rips and you gotta buy a new one. And forget all that. Go out, spend the extra dollar basically, and have these constantly for like ever. This will be my second year using these. And I think it was six bucks. Then if you're going to grow your seeds inside, you're gonna need grow lights and a heat mat. Okay, so let's get into starting our seeds. Very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, take your seed starting mix and go add water to it and get the soil moist. You don't want it dripping wet, but you do want it nice and moist. Just want the soil wet enough to embrace itself and envelop that seed. The next step is simply fill your seed starting trays. I went ahead and already filled this seed tray up and I packed these cells really, really tight. Now the reason for that is, is when your plant starts to grow and you go to transplant this plug out and you push up, you want it to come up nice and tight. That plug needs to be solid. You do not want your brand new start that you've spent all this time growing to have a loose plug to where the soil is falling apart, the roots are exposed. So pack your cells nice and tight. It will only benefit your start down the road. Okay, now I want to say this. When you are starting your seeds, this method can be used for tomato seeds, cucumber seeds, pepper seeds, any kind of seed. As long as that plant isn't sensitive to being moved and doesn't need to be started in the soil, say like carrots are, you need to plant those where they're going to be planted. But any plant that you can start from seeds, 
in a seed starting tray and then transplant, this is the exact same method that you use for any of those. Okay, now this is what I like to do when I'm starting seeds. So you put your, your holes in each of your cells. Now this is where I do things a little different. I like to start two seeds per cell. Whichever plant grows the biggest, I'll cut the other one off. That way you're doubling your odds of getting one plant for each cell. That's just me and the way I like to do it. Now, you can see these seeds right here. These are some big seeds for pepper seeds. Some seeds are super small, so you gotta be really careful. What I like to do is go through, and basically these are all the same size, but if there were discrepancies, like, like one seed was way bigger than another, I would get those bigger seeds and plant those. So right now we're just gonna go through here, and we're gonna plant each of the seeds one seed in each hole and just like that you're done y'all still have some more seeds for later on okay now just come back through you can use your fingers on this one and what you want to do is ensure that you are pushing down nice and tight you want to make sure that that seed starting mix is all around those seeds very 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 important okay y'all we're about done with this stage now let's take these inside put them on the heat mat turn the lights on and stand by and watch them grow okay so like i said outside this is my heat mat it's a big heat mat these are my grow lights now both of these are in the description below if you all are interested in getting those off of amazon now we're just going to sit the seeds down the mat is already on it's already nice and warm we turn the lights on And then y'all, that's pretty much it. Now, one thing I did not cover is that is where you fill up the water whenever these start to dry out. And the way you wanna check is if you touch the top and it's really dry, fill, up, fill the bottom up with some water to ensure that the seed is always getting the warm water that it needs because this heat mat will warm that water, which will then warm the seed, mix around the seeds and just make them grow really good. And y'all, that's all there is to starting your seeds. What, again, whether it's tomato seed, pepper seed, doesn't matter. That's how you start seed starts. Very simple. Again, a rundown of what you need. Heating mat, grow lights, seed starting mix, seed trays. That's really it. And then plenty of time to sit back and watch your peppers, your plants grow. So part two of this series will be about up potting and continuing to monitor and take care of those seeds. To close out this video, everyone, I just want to say one last time, it just warms my heart to no end to see youngsters growing. Pun totally intended here, but when you plant that seed in a young child's heart, in their mind, and they go out there and they start growing, I mean, seriously, y'all, does it get any better than that? They're not in front of a video game. They're not in front of some screen. They're not indoors. They're outside growing, getting dirty, being sweaty, dealing with the bugs and the dirt and everything. I mean... Does it, it doesn't get any better, does it? <laughs> so again, Logan, it, you inspire me, bud. You make me want to get out here and continue growing and making videos for everyone. So buddy, thank you. As always, everyone, if y'all enjoyed this video, do me a favor, share it, like it, and subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. I know I speak on behalf of all of us on this channel as we would love to have all of you join all of us on this continuous journey of gardening together. Take care, God bless, and I'll talk to y'all again real soon. <laughs> Bye. Totally forgot to mention this. Do not forget to label your seed trays. Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardenings. To gardenings? <laughs> Is it that early? I'm already messing up the opening. Hey, as I'm about to get attacked by a bee. Get out. <laughs>